Fiery Ring, it is Red Hail Gaming. And today in the Fiery Ring, we are going to be looking at failed Kickstarters. We're just going to be doing it, uh, just this one for now. Um, this one is the Scarp Laser... Razor. Okay, 21st Century Shaving. Um, suspended, it says. First ever powered by a laser for the, for an, from an irritation free, incredibly close shave, join the revolution. What revolution? This thing had 20,632 backers. Don't know what that means. If you know what it means, please comment, because I'm really, I really want to know what that means. Um, four million, eh, four million five thousand one hundred eleven dollars. Sorry, someone just called me. <sighs> Wrong number. Um, let's see, updates. What? This thing is updates. Jesus, this is like a game. From Irvine. California. Scarp Technologies invented this. It was suspended on October 12th, apparently. I can understand why. You could nearly cut off someone's head with this. It's a laser. Okay, let's uh, let's watch the sales pitch for this. Shaving as we know it is far from perfect. It causes razor burn, ingrown hair, cuts, bleeding, and even infection. Yeah. And if you have sensitive skin or a skin condition, it's even more difficult. The U.S. alone throws out two billion razors a year. Most can't be recycled because they pose a health risk, mm. so they end up in garbage dumps. There must be a better way. Yeah, birds can get cut from that. A razor that does not cause irritation. A razor that shaves smooth and clean. A razor that helps reduce waste. This is why we created the Scarf Razor. Why is it called Scarp though? I was working on lasers for cosmetic and medical purposes. I wondered, could I put this technology to better use? Mm. I wanted something that would benefit every single one of us. Shaving was the obvious answer. Yeah. The industry has been looking for a laser shaver for home use. But discovering a viable technology has eluded everyone until now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wavelengths of light have been discovered to cut through dark hair, but not light or grey hair. Oh man. We wanted a laser that could cut all hair. Yeah, we do. Many prototypes were built, and after years of experimentation, we have found exactly what we were looking for. We identified molecules in the hair that absorb a particular wavelength. They are <sighs> called chromophores. These chromophores are the only continuous structure in the hair. They're shared by every human regardless of age. Okay, wait, what? The scarf razor is for everyone to use, and it works great on any area. This is how it works. A traditional razor cuts the hair shaft at an angle. What? This is what causes your skin to feel rough. When the scarf razor makes contact, the laser melts through the hair shaft, completely level to the surface of the skin. This leaves a smoother, softer finish that lasts longer to the touch. We really need your support to put the scarf razor into production. We have preliminary agreements with manufacturers, we require capital to begin orders. Okay, yeah, but you gotta think that the, uh, like, what, soon after this is produced, there's probably gonna be people going around, you know, cutting other people with this stuff. You know, just, okay, here's the picture of this. Walking down an alley, and it's like, all of a sudden, oh, some guy pops out with this scarf laser razor, and he's like, give me your money. And he, and he threatens to cut you with it. How are you gonna protect yourself? You can't because nothing could stop this thing. We've spent many years developing this razor because we believe Look at that. It's... five thousand years. Oh, hang on. Let's, back, let's go back. It's got a button. That's We've spent many Ooh. years developing this razor because we believe after five thousand years of using the same technology, it's time to make shaving easier, safer, and greener. Greener? Oh. It's a red razor, dude. Spring shaving. Look, no, it's red, right there, red. A century. Yeah. <laughs> Never dull moment. It's funny. Okay, that was fun to look at. Not really. Um, let's look at the comments. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, they even went on Indiegogo. Um... Translation, all the way to the Scarpers. Hmm. Okay, well. Never mind, that one. She was probably better than I thought. This one might be a little bit worse, though. I want to build a chicken. I want to build a chicken out of a chi out of chicken. I, w I will use cheap chicken to get the most chicken for the chicken. Wow, they got a dollar. Okay. I can I can just see this now like a child like maybe like a 10-year-old is like, "I want to build a chicken with more chicken. See if I can revive this thing." So, the only supporter he can get is his mom. That's probably who this one dollar came from. They had two comments. Excellent pun. You just made a pun, dude. And I'm hearing crickets back here. I totally backed this project, but then I chickened out. <laughs> Only backers can post comments. Well, I'm not a backer, nor do I want to be. I don't want to back. I want to build a chicken. There's not even a picture for this. Madra Station, Oregon. Alright, well. Hopefully... You power wallet. I'm sorry, wait, what? Don't they already have those? They're called credit cards. It's a wallet on a card. He don't, or, or how about this? Apps. Use a freaking app for this. Look at this, look at this. It's basically a stylus, but a wallet. No, oh, gosh. Wait, okay. I'm sorry. Is she a germaphobe? Because... Who would press the elevator button with the U wallet? I want, oh, man. I'm kind of afraid to watch this beach video because it's going to make me like the thing. Like the razor. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Alright, let's watch this thing. The U power wallet. The wallet you power with your foot. Wait, what? The wallet you power with your foot? Hang on, wait, what? The wallet you power with your foot. Hello, Kickstarter. My name is Stuart. Y'all heard that. Y'all heard that, right? The wallet you power with your foot. All right. Well. Power wallet. Your power wallet is an innovative wallet that assists you with touching information entry on point of sale devices, um, iPads, iPhones, ATMs, supermarket kiosks, just about anything that you have to use your finger on to make information entry. You can use the U power wallet. Right now, I would like to demonstrate to you how that you power wallet can improve your life, your health, and you can have fun with it. Come on, let's go. All right. The U Power Wallet for today's healthy fashion forward trendsetters. The U Power Wallet she said is a soft black polyurethane with a green trim. Mm. Three millimeters thick, five inches in length, three inches in width. The U Power Wallet. Wow, I'm still going to math class apparently because I just learned the volume of that thing. Three pockets to hold bank cards, I'm sorry, area cards, maybe. And cash. No more smudges on your touchscreen devices. Play your favorite Wait, what? So it's a stylus wallet? That's that that's it. It's a stylus. That wow. Okay, we're really we're really starting off at rock bottom. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I get what they're saying now about the health because no one wants to touch that, you know, dirty stuff, the ATMs, because everyone's been touching that. But still, if you're a germaphobe, just wear, you know, like those latex gloves that the doctors wear, stuff like that. You know, get the whole, like, radiation suit going. Get a hazmat.
with shoes or cars for radio frequencies. The U-Power Wallet has That's a cool. slim, ergonomic design for easy input entry. The U-Power Wallet for today's healthy fashion forward trendsetters. He has a thing in a box like it either just died or it's like you bought it from the Apple store. Which if Apple gets a hold of this thing, it's gonna the price is gonna sky through the roof. It's skyrocket. It's gonna go pew. What should take what should what should cost five bucks is now costing a hundred bucks. Hang on, I want to hear that first four seconds of this. Yep, that's right. They okay. The wall you power with your foot. Okay. Comments. Very cool. Thanks. It was unsuccessful on July fourteenth. Hundred fifty three dollars. Six backers. Okay, I get what they're going for here. I I get that, but I mean, still. There's still updates here. Okay. That's that's weird. Okay. This wallet is resistant to any signals that may hit the wallet, correct? There sh you should also think about adding some early birds. What? Why do they say impregnated? That doesn't sound right. Oh, he's the, cr he's the creator of it. Okay. Well, let's go on to the last one. Lionel Richie's head. A giant... It's a giant inflatable... Oh my gosh, this was not failure. This actually happened. Okay. Very excited to see this project in all its glory at the festival. Roll on September. Okay, I get there's some Lionel Richie people out there. You know, fans. Um, 211 backers play- wow. 211? Pledged more than the number that they are. Uh, it's not that you can't just go through Kickstarter and just click the uh, click a button that's like fail project or something. Okay, guys, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and a comment saying. What game you like me play next on the Fire Ring of Red Hail Gaming? I'll see you guys next time.